Hey guys, today we are going to do just a real quick uh, how to on uh, how to initiate a compass calibration. Uh, the new quads come, the new 501s, several of the Hubson quads, but your 501SS and your 501A uh, now come with this new compass and new firmware for that compass uh, all within them. And um, with that, you have no more compass calibration when you plug the battery in so you don't have to turn the uh, quad clockwise and do your compass calibration one and two but if you wreck it will ask you to do that compass calibration and if you see any strange behavior like toilet bowling you're going to want to initiate that calibration yourself so that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to initiate the compass calibration yourself so all you do is of course be bound to the quad and the quad turned on and we're gonna get beeping since we have no GPS signal in the house here but you're gonna take your left stick to the left your right stick and you're gonna to toggle it left and right and there it says hopefully you can see that good it says calibrate compass one so then you do your compass calibrations and you're good to go um, so next I'm going to show you how to do that also with the app uh, just in case you do not have uh, the controller for your H501A okay so using the app to initiate a compass calibration for your H501A um, what you're going to do is basically use your virtual sticks the way you do with the transmitter. So all we're doing is we're going to take the stick and hold here. Take this stick and go left to right. And you get compass calibration. So that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have the new compass and wanted to know how to initiate the compass calibration yourself, that's how you do it. Uh, the only other way to initiate it is if you crash, so you don't want to do that. Um, from time to time, it may ask you for a compass, compass calibration, and usually that's if you've had it upside down or bumped it uh, or set it down real hard. Um, it is a little bit sensitive on some models, so uh, don't be alarmed if it asks you uh, occasionally for a compass calibration. Just do your calibration and you should be good. Thanks, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to add them below. And if you do not subscribe, subscribe for future content, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Take care.